watching from across wherever you are attending the session and thank you for taking your time out on the weekend to attend uh, this event and i hope you would be staying till the end of the day to um, play some exciting quiz and win some prizes so uh, for today's session uh, i have come up with some interesting topic which some part of it already i guess perumal uh, covered it which is viva connection dashboard and viva topics so majorly uh, let me just go to uh, let me just give you the agenda so before that i'll quickly introduce myself so i am shrushti sha and i basically work with rapid circle and uh, majorly i have been working on sharepoint and microsoft 365 stack apart from that i also work on azure infrastructure as a code so wherein you write powershell scripts and arm templates just to provision resources so that is the professional background and today's agenda is quite um, simple and we will be doing the demo like i will be taking you to the demo as well uh, i will not take much of the time over the powerpoint so i have splitted my topic into two different topics one is uh, because employee experience platform comprises of four different viva uh, uh, services right which is viva connections viva topics viva learning and viva insights from that today i will be talking about viva connection and basically in viva connection um some part of it which perumal already covered which is how you can set up viva connection how you can set a viva connection dashboard and what all adaptive cards you can add and if you want to customize your adaptive card which are going to showcase into your intranet portal that we will do that apart from that in viva second uh, part of the session will be viva topics so viva topics will be creating some of the viva topics we look into how you can manage like you have created but how will that topic populate to your sharepoint how you can uh, basically see that viva topic be it in sharepoint page or while you search from the search box of microsoft 365 search and where you will be creating which is topic center site and definitely viva connection and viva topics will be setting it up into microsoft teams as well so this is the agenda i hope uh, you you learn something throughout the session so let's just go ahead with viva connection so as you know uh, uh, as of now viva connection is a service which is a part of employee experience platform so why microsoft came up with viva connection is i just took this insights from microsoft uh, information deck wherein they state that nearly 60% of people uh, feel less connected to their team after shifting to remote work so last two years of pandemic were very difficult for for the it for the people who are working who are working from home so what they want to do is they wanted to stay up to date with what their organization is and how they will stay up to date so that is one that is why we, uh, microsoft came up with viva connection with viva connection they can uh, check out the company news they can uh, see, see what tasks they are assigned with uh, and what all things are going across the organization they can find the important resources everything in one particular portal which is viva connection so that is why this is a first uh, small introduction about viva connection and the same thing i have uh, pointed it down so as you can see from the screenshot we have two types uh, of screens one is viva connection desktop experience and the other is viva connection mobile experience so how uh, like i mentioned everyone or every employee wanted to stay connected with what is going around in the organization so from the screen of mobile you can see there are three um, navigations one is dashboard other is feed and the other is resources so dashboard is mainly uh, all our adaptive cards which you have uh, which you, uh, you can create your own by using adaptive card extension leveraging sharepoint framework development or you can also use out of the box ones which microsoft provides so dashboard experience will only pull up your adaptive cards feeds is basically all your news which are sharepoint news uh, which which organization publishes that you can see all your news in feed section resources will be basically all your file or different information resources which you can navigate to so this same mobile experience uh, a different view it comes when when you see it on the desktop experience so the desktop experience you can see this is sort of a intranet portal which something looks similar to communication site but this is the home site the only difference is this is the home site not your communication site and the main difference of your home site is you can add adaptive cards as well 
to your home site as a and it will be shown in the dashboard dashboard section so this was the introduction about what viva connection is and when i talk about viva connections uh, if someone wants to have viva connection into their organization or they want to use viva connection dashboard then how they can do that right so so they have to prepare their intranet how they can do is firstly they will need the necessary ingredients like they need home site they will have to ha they'll need this as you can see this navigation this is the uh, sorry this is the teams navigation but there is a sharepoint uh, left a global nap app navigation which we will come to the later part so these are all the prerequisites before setting it uh, before having your home site as an intranet portal into your teams so that is what here i have mentioned um, this is a screenshot taken from microsoft documentation wherein they say that you have to prepare prepare your internet basically modernize it and you you need to have a home site enable the app bar of a sharepoint navigation app bar create a dashboard so dashboard is basically where you can add your adapt create your adaptive cards add it to your sharepoint's home home page and then publish it after you create your adaptive card you have to prepare the content so dashboard is just dashboard will carry your adaptive card but as we saw we have three screens right dashboard feed and resources so definitely you have to get the content for feed as well which is you will uh, publish your news which are latest lit news across the organization which you want to show this is what is the fifth point and six is you you have to add this viva connection home of uh, this home site portal into your teams and then if you want to launch it to mobile then for the same you have to do some settings and then end, end users can definitely see that app in your teams so this is how uh, the setup of viva connections takes place and this screenshot is just of adaptive cards dashboard which i will take you through in the demo so let's just cover viva connection dashboard uh, demo before going into viva topics so i will go to i will go uh, in the flow that is uh, what all things i will need for making so i have a this is my teams wherein if you see um, i will have to add viva connection into my teams right so i will perform that following steps i need home site so what you have to do is there are two different ways to have your home site one is as you can see i i have gone to my admin center which is sharepoint admin center in sharepoint admin center when i go to settings i can see a home site option so in home site i already have one site Uh, added as a home site if you want to change it you can definitely change this home site you just have to go to active sites and you can select any of the site and there is one more option called as home i am not able to see in this particular tenant but i can pull up the the tenant so that uh, when you click on the home button and you can associate any of your communication site you want to associate to as a home site so let's just quickly see here so as i think they changed the experience and if i want to change this then not sure why. yeah you can cross on this and you can add let's see yeah you can add the url of the site which you want to add basically this url should be a communication site url and that should have the global navigation enabled then you can add it as a home you can convert it into as a home site so let's just go here and as we saw that i already have the home site for my tenant i can only have one home site for the tenant i will redirect to this site and when i go to the settings yep i will see global navigation and from the global navigation because this is already enabled i can also see this global navigation here which is already enabled you can also disable the global navigation but it is good to enable if you are uh, thinking to convert your this site it to your home site and i will change it to home site navigation i will save this okay 
so now as you can see this is my home site this is somewhat similar uh, to your normal sharepoint communication site but the interesting thing is you can also see the dashboard section here and these are all the adaptive cards which it has pulled up now where i create this adaptive cards if i want to create it right that is a question so into your home site once you convert your site to home site or you navigate to home site then you have to click on settings and you have to click on set up viva connection so when you click on set up viva connection this gives you the flexibility uh, this will give you the option to add uh, like um, update or create or manage adaptive cards into your dashboard so let's just view our dashboard and as you can see these are all the adaptive cards which i have in my tenant have created and almost somewhat similar microsoft provides out of the box so if i edit this let's just quickly explore what all options i can see so this somewhat looks like a sharepoint page right wherein you can save this as a draft you can discard your changes you can see the dashboard details wherein you can change the thumbnail add some description and this is the page url name these are the details of this dashboard and i have two views desktop experience and mobile experience so in the desktop experience these are all the adaptive cards already placed let's just quickly check any one of them right so i'll simply select this one this only has a heading and some of the description let's just see this adaptive card so when you see this adaptive card this is named as devices this adaptive card and it only has description this adaptive card is created using adaptive card designer let me come to that so when you add a card you see these are all the there are some predefined cards which is approvals assign task shift teams app news and web link so these are predefined one but if you want to create something of your own you can go ahead and create something similar with the adaptive card extension uh, adaptive card designer or you can use adaptive card extension write a code and publish a work with api is where you want to fetch some data add some buttons where uh, they will show some details and then you can have adaptive card a personalized rich adaptive card from adaptive card designer you can only create some very basic things not very in uh, things which you work with a when you work with apis you can't do that here as you can see from the screen this card designer only provides the size and the layout so let's just choose layout of heading and how i want my card to be so this is right now a medium size we'll select large one it will have some good width here now as you can see from the content i want to add the title as my viva card so you see this changed and i will pull up the icon here and i will change it from something interesting this will be my let's just select this one so this is my viva card i have the icon here now i want to change some heading right i will add welcome to soft viva days two so this pulled up here and at the bottom you can see there are two buttons are you can definitely go ahead and change this if you don't want the primary button you can remove if you don't want the secondary button you can remove or else you can keep and you can navigate to uh, register here and you can add the registration link and the action you want to have on that particular button you can select that i just wanted to navigate to a link then i will just uh, something this dummy text okay and i don't want a secondary button i just want to register so this is how your card looks like this is very simple if you want to add more customizations there is one more option so that is at the bottom of the card designer where you can see you can uh, change your layout of this card as in you can add some background images or you can have some uh, text edi additions rich text you can have uh, play with the colors of the text background and everything by getting the json so this is the adaptive card json and how you will create it right where you will get is so here they have mentioned that you can use adaptive card designer let's just quickly go here 
So this is the card designer wherein you can design your own card. Uh, I will just select adaptive Viva connections and you can have any of the one. Let's just this one and you can play with this container. You can have your own. You basically you can design your card for yourself and your needs and you can delete all this stuff and then you just have to pull up this JSON this JSON and you have to add it in here in the template and you have to provide the data in the data JSON for each variables as you can see this URL is given from here and the text is given from here so just have to uh, you can customize all your adaptive card details from either JSON or from the simple editor which is provided so this is how you can design design your own adaptive card using adaptive card designer so something similar i was showing it to you here wherein this is designed uh, this is a device i have just changed the name and as you can see devices with the hololens image and some description to it there is no action no buttons so it is just a simple plain card with just a simple description if you want you can add images as well and let's just play it here if you want then you can add your image custom image stock images and, uh, let's just quickly select any one of them so see how beautiful your card can look like even with the simple editor which microsoft has provided but if you want more customizations, then definitely the approach is to create your adaptive card JSON into your adaptive card designer and having that template into your JSON, JSON template, adding it to here. I hope this is cleared. And now let's just quickly look into what are the out of the box adaptive cards provided by Microsoft. So these are the ones which are created using adaptive card designer only. But when I add a card, I also see some of the applications which are Microsoft, uh, which has some behind the tasks. Like if you want to pull up your uh, assigned tasks, that is the API, right? They will pull up the tasks which are pending. So if I see here assigned tasks one and let's just quickly. Yes. So right now for uh, into my this tenant I, I and when it checks my planner, it don't have any tasks assigned to me. That is why I see there are no tasks for me. And if you edit this card, you can you only have the option to um, change the layout. And for all the adaptive cards which you see here, there is another option which is audience targeting. This means that you can target some, some of the cards only to the relevant audience. When I say audience targeting, so for example, for say, there is some uh, work related, there is a card which should be only shown to a group of HR people, not, not, to, the, uh, not to every employee. Then you can target it to only HR group and only they will be seeing that particular card into, into this home site portal not everyone will be able to see or take actions on it. Basically, they won't see. So you can target your adaptive cards to the audience. This is the key important point to remember. So if I create another card and check for Teams app, so I will edit it and I have the option to select the application as well. Yes, so right now let's just add forms and you can have the description changed card title also you can survey of the session and anything you can change this but uh you right now which you saw right you can have the teams app as well which will pull up into your card format so let's just quickly now publish our dashboard page now, as you can see, this is published. Now, all the content which I created right now is only on the dashboard, right? And I want to see it on the home page of my communication, uh, this home site. Then how would I see it? So let's just quickly edit this page. And what you have to do is you just have to add dashboard for Viva Connections. And this way you can see 
all the cards and you can increase the number of cards see i can see now all of my cards in my home page right so this is how you can add your adaptive cards to your sharepoint home site as well but if you want to restrict it to only few numbers you can just restrict it to few numbers but you can't just have uh, you can't pick which you want to show and which you don't want to show like if you want to include something or exclude something that functionality is not available you can just select the number of cards which you want to show right now into your your collection so now let me just publish this already i was able to see the same thing but i wanted to show how we can add dashboard uh, web part as well into your home site that is the reason i added here now i have my internet portal ready i have the global navigation enabled this is the home site i have added some of the adaptive cards now what next the next part is to add viva connection into my microsoft teams so let's just go to teams admin center quickly i will go to teams admin center sometimes it takes minute yep and here we go to manage apps and we will search for viva connections as you can see whenever uh, you have your tenant uh, whichever tenant you are working on it will be blocked by default so what you have to do is you just have to allow it to add it to your teams and you can also customize this basically you can uh, include all update the data which is already existing like updating the short name having the privacy policy changed description and icon definitely everything i am not going to change anything right now i'll keep it as it is and right now as you can see this is allowed right so now i should be able to add it i'll have to refresh on my teams Let's just quickly check here. It should be up. Yeah, it is here. And I should see the home site which we were working on. And yes, see, I can see the exact same home site which we were looking into the SharePoint right now. So this is how your intranet experience. You can get it to Teams. and this will be your this will represent your organization basically this intranet portal will be your organization's intranet portal and now your users can stay up to date they can follow up with the news they can have their activities done like if there are some task assigned they will be look they will be seeing it here okay i have this much tasks done this much tasks assigned to me what is the deadline for the same and if there are some holidays coming up or any of the information they wanted to have they can stay up to date with the information be informed and they can be organized at the same time in the say in just one screen and they can also uh, like this is what viva connections is in uh, detail now let's just quickly jump to viva topics because there is left some time only so viva connections uh, that is completed now we'll uh, only know about what viva topics is right so uh, what what was the need for viva topics uh, why microsoft came up with viva topics so the main reason was whenever a new employee used to join the uh, organization or probably you as a employee you moved to some different project and many times we tend to use some acronyms which probably we might not know at the start but there is a detailed information behind what that acronym is and why that acronym came up with so for example say mars so mars would be a project for that organization but for a out, for an outsider that that is supposed to be a planet right but how i would know that mars is a project 
so basically viva topic is that when you um, it just connects you with the knowledge of the organization and it reduces that gap wherein you can uh, know everything in detail about that particular uh, project you can contact important info important people related to that project also uh, read some of the important files check out their uh, sharepoint sites and all the important people who are connected with that project in just a no time right that this uh, viva topics definitely helps you in reducing the time gap of gaining the information and knowledge so that is why that is what viva topics is turning your content into usable knowledge organizing your knowledge and how we are going to organize this knowledge that is using topic pages which will in turn float across as topic cards as you can see from the screen so right now when someone will hover over soar they will see the details that soar is a project and details about the project who all are the people associated with it and the file resources for that project and definitely this makes it easy because it will be accessible to your uh, sharepoint pages your search microsoft search and your chats as well and outlook in outlook as well so i just quickly explained the same that uh, why what is the need of viva topics and what is it and there are required licenses which only for that particular license we'll be able to leverage viva topics and the important information is i will go ahead and create the topic right that is that that should not be an issue but how will i see the topic in which form so the topics are displayed to users in this particular in all the mentioned first thing is topics are highlighted on sharepoint pages wherein if you just uh, write hash you will be able you will be seeing the suggestions of the topics which i have created so that is what what rc stand for so rc is a acronym and then i have added it as a hash and it just when i publish this page and when the users will hover over this they will see the topic card and also topic will be searched you in your microsoft 365 search when you search for that acronym it will display the topic information and also all your office applications like word powerpoint and definitely topic center home page so how you can activate and set up uh, is mainly i will skip because this is already um, you can activate you you just need a license for viva topics and then you have to set it up from your admin center and i will just go ahead and creating a viva topic so i will cover it in the demo waste i will not Oops, i just yeah so what i'll go, do is i'll go to my topic center site okay so i have the topic center site open let me just go to admin center and i will pull up my setup so when you will set it up set up your uh, viva connection and viva uh, topics so you will see in your setup something like let me just show that to you Oops. am i on the right page oh org settings me refresh i missed something oh i am checking in the wrong sorry for that so in the setup itself you will see viva topics as well so that is what i was searching for yeah so connect people to knowledge with viva topics you just have to set it, set up from the admin center when you have the license and then uh, you can manage right now i have set it a, a set, set this up in my tenant so i can only manage this so basically we'll come to management at the end of uh, the session and i'll quickly go to my topic center site so this is how your topic center site will look like this is similar to your communication site but it it has some different uh, 
add-ons to it. So when I click on new, I can see the topic page, which we don't see usually in our communication site. This is dedicated only for curation of topics, right? And that is why we have managed topics as well right into the site and suggested topics, which AI will suggest uh, uh, whenever you have more number of topics, AI will suggest some of the topics and it will populate here on the screen. Let's just go ahead and create a topic, sample topic. I will name it as Riva. I'm just right now giving a uh, default. I don't have alternate names for Viva, but I will just give the short description and some important people who are linked with this project. So and I can so basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a topic which is something some kind of a project or some information this viva carries so viva is a team inside an organization which mainly works on viva related assets creation and basically adaptive card extension or something or the other staying on top of microsoft viva so this is a project team viva and i will quickly add some few in uh members this time adding random members here so don't uh, don't uh, you can add the team members related to that particular project. They can be project manager, leads, or anyone. The developers working on it. Now, for this particular uh, project team, there might be some of the resources, right? Which you can definitely go ahead and add. You can add it from the site, or you can search from here. I will quickly add one. Or else, you can add a link as well. So I have already right now added one particular in, uh, file. I will also pin some of the sites to it. Basically, I want retail and sales marketing team. And as you can see, now this Viva topic with some relevant information, some important point of contacts and resources is added. Also, we have uh, added some of the site links. For example, this site is related to Viva. That is why I've added. And you can also link one topic to another topic as well. Right. So let me see if I can search for another topic. Yeah. So I link these two topics and how they are connected. You can update here. My projects. I just add a random. I'll update. So these two topics are connected. And now I'll publish this page. This is my topic page for Viva. And this is published. And it might take some time. Now what happens is when you publish this page, at the same very moment, you can't just search and you will see your topic. That is not going to happen. It takes some time. So what happens is I just will go to manage topics here. And I will see in my published section. So as you can see the SOAR, this is published right now. And let's just quickly see if I go to my M365 point. Yep. And if I see SOAR, oh, which one I created was Viva. So let me just. So as you can see here, I searched for Viva, but it didn't populate me with that because it takes some time to publish and to show it to you. Uh, and here as well in published section, I don't see Viva right now. Right. And in confirmed section, there are multiple cards, but whenever it will show up in the published section, only after then you, you can just perform like you can just search for the topic and it should populate. So right now what you see is I can see SOAR. And if I, what it suggests is Viva topics identified so as a topic of your interest, does it seem right? So this is AI enabled. So if you, you just have to be careful while answering it, answering to it, because this, this works for AI su suggestions, topic suggestions, etc. If I work, uh, if I search for something Mars, I have it or not. Let me just see in my topic page, what are topics I carry? I have RC and UPC. I search that. 
it should yes so as you can see this topic came up and now if you want to use this topic what you can do is i'll quickly go to my one sample sharepoint site and this is my communication site and when i create a new page black page and i will my topics i will welcome to microsoft diva topics and i will add hash and it should suggest me so as you can see the suggestions of the topics here and i will add u b c to so see let me just add some random tag text i will just publish this page and when i'll hover over this topic i can see the topic card so this is how you have to use uh, if you want it to be showed uh because the only difference between your normal text and uh, text of your topic is you just have to add hash along with it at the as prefix and then you will see the suggestions of all your topics and then your users or where you are posting this as a news they'll be able to know that this is not a tag text this is a topic so this is how your topics will be displayed and will be um, highlighted across so that is what we just saw let me come back to my screen and this is what i was up to we just checked on how the topics will be displayed to the users we created a topic and topic has few of the uh, parts like you have to give a name to the topic alternate names and acronyms if there are any or short description people associated with it files pages and sites and also you can uh, connect one topic with the other topic the important section uh, which i wanted to cover is managing topics so managing topics i will come yeah so how you can manage topics so there are two ways you can manage your topics from the admin center wherein we saw that whenever you will set up your topic you will see this option called as topic experience wherein you can uh, limit your topics based on users or based on sites so for example topic discovery so who who which all sites can um, where where all you want your topic to be discovered right so you can select some of the sites or you can uh, like as i guess peromal already covered this you can have only this on few particular sites you can also ex exclude some of the topics and if you want similar goes for topic visibility and topic permissions so all th those things you can manage from the admin center and the another management of topics comes from uh, is laying inside a topic center site wherein you can see all the topics topics goes through phases which is uh, whenever you confirm a particular topic only then it is published unless it won't be able unless it won't be published so after it is confirmed it goes to published stage and if you do, if some topics is no longer relevant to the the organization for example if there there is a project team which used to work 20 or 25 years back now that is no not more any relevant then you can remove some of the topics so that for ai to work uh, finely because otherwise it will show up in the suggestions as well and the suggested topic is mainly ai suggested topics so these are the two ways you can manage topics and the important part is assigning permissions so these are some of the roles of the topics roles topic viewer contributor manager and admin and these roles name is just changed but at the back these are all something similar to sharepoint roles so topic viewer will be your sharepoint basically the users who have the access to view the topics and contributor who can contribute sharepoint site topic center site contributors you can add few of the members with the contributor roles manager basically will be your sharepoint admin who can manage your topic center site uh, mainly in creating topics and managing topics and topic admins are also your sharepoint admins so these are all the roles which are covered and this covers our whole session and i would just quickly like to 
check if there are any questions before. Oh yes, I missed. Thank you, Nandeep. Uh, looking at your message, I recollected I missed one part of the demo. So as we saw that we have topics uh, in place with the uh, uh, like what we just now saw. It is right residing in SharePoint. Now where I can see my Viva topics into my Microsoft Teams, I'll just take two more minutes to cover that. So where, if you want your Viva topics to be uh, displayed into your as an app into your Microsoft Teams. So right now you see Viva topics here. So this is a topic center site which will suggest some of the topics. Also you can go ahead and manage the topics right inside your uh, Viva, Connect, Viva topics page. So how can I get this Viva topic app? So Microsoft has, uh, there is a Microsoft documentation wherein you will find a zip folder I'll just quickly go to that, uh, otherwise might get confused. So there is a zip folder which Microsoft has shared. Oops, where I am in the wrong. I will share it in the, uh, share that link in my presentation references as well. But all you have to do is you just have to run that PowerShell script and uh, that PowerShell script basically uh, out outputs a zip package which is your manifest file and two of the logos and then you can just quickly add that particular in that particular into that zip, particular zip package i mean into your teams manage apps and you can just upload that zip folder and then as you can see i already have that and i will upload this zip uh, zip folder and once i have this i can make some customizations if I want to, and that will be the allowed state default if I add, and hence I will be able to see this Viva Topics as well. So Viva Topics is only uh, visible over your desktop, Teams desktop experience. Right now it is not available to Teams web version. You, I mean for uh, adding it to your, I can see, last week there was some issue probably yeah so viva topics is visible to your both desktop and web version so this is how viva topics can also be added to your microsoft teams but there is no def uh, out of the box app available right now you have to add using the powershell script basically upload the manifest and logo so this covers the demo and thank you so much i guess nandeep pop pointed that out and i missed that Thank you. Thank you, Srishti. Thank you. Thank Are there any questions? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, I'll in, take up in the chat. The, yeah, chat window. Yeah. That would be better. Thank you. So thank you, all the sponsors, and please do follow this pages across. And thanks for listening. Thanks, Paramal. Thank you. Thanks to all the attendees.